Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be answering the age old question. And that is what equipment do I need to make music? And this is going to be geared towards like the pure electronic musician, as well as maybe the singer songwriter who wants to record some demos, or, you know, uh, a rapper or something like that, that wants to, you know, just get things started. Um, so let's assume that you're completely green around the gills. And you're just like, where do I start? What do I do? And you're going to want a computer. And I'm assuming you kind of already have one unless you're watching on a phone. You're going you're gonna to want a computer that can be a laptop or a desktop. I would lean towards a desktop because of its uh, scalability. I.e. you can add um, you know, extra hard drives, RAM, make up very upgrades, uh, add graphics cards or you know, gaming or whatever. A laptop, you can only kind of upgrade the RAM and the hard drive. Uh, but, you know, it could be you're a college student or you're someone on the go or, you know, you want to kind of be minimal and a laptop might be for you. Uh, it's all well and good. You can't make a wrong choice, really. Any any computer made that's decent made within the last maybe five years can handle audio in real time. So, yeah, you're going to want that. You're also going to want a device that allows you to listen a pair of headphones to start out is a is a good investment you're going to want these later on down the road or you know uh something else i'm going to get into but yeah the just a pair of headphones they are you know pretty affordable uh these are uh hd 25s um there are other headphones out there as well that you can get and yeah you can do a lot with just a laptop and headphones and that is the bare bones, minimal hardware that you're going to need. Software is a different story. Uh, you can go a couple routes. You can go Ableton. You can go FL Studio. You can go Cubase. You can go Logic. There's no wrong choice. They're all uh, uh, capable pieces of hardware, or sorry, pieces of software. Uh, go ahead and download the demos and give them a try and find one that uh, works for you. Me personally, I use Ableton. I have, and I've tried different software, and I'm in Ableton is just something that works for me. Uh, people swear by FL Studio, also a good choice, but I think Ableton is, you know, I guess I'm kind of biased. I'm the Ableton guy on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, just give that a try. And the thing about Ableton and FL Studio and all these is they have uh, a lot of built in instruments already. You got your drum rack. And your audio effects and uh, all that stuff. Once you get into like the plugin realm, that's a different story. You're gonna want to get into those a little bit later. Uh, but for now, yeah, just focus on you know getting things working in your digital audio workstation of choice. Figure out how an EQ works. Basically, all uh, DAWs come with EQs and compressors and reverbs and different effects. They come with uh, different instruments. And uh, yeah, Ableton is no exception. So do that, get things down, figure out how to get sound up and running and do that and just experiment and learn and have some fun. And with that, that is like the bare minimum of what you need. And uh, yeah, you don't even really need to buy software. You can, and I know, I know what you're thinking. No, you can just try the demo and give that a try. You know, FL Studio has a very... Uh, interesting demo situation uh, and that is you know you just can't save you can do everything you just can't save and I think when you're learning and figuring it out like you know you're not going to want to save that much but yeah uh, it's pretty good don't freaking pirate everything because that's not gonna that's not gonna help you out there's a thing called uh, gas gear acquisition syndrome which I might suffer from uh, but there's also SAS, which is software acquisition syndrome. It's very easy to like just download every single piece of software and not get anywhere. You're going to want to explore and just stick to something and find something that works for you. So anyway, that is the uh, the bare minimum. Next up in the tier is you're going to want something more tactile than a mouse, maybe. You don't have to. You can you can still do everything in the box, but you're going to want you know something that you can expressively play. Uh, you can't really do a whole lot with a mouse. You're going to want something called a MIDI uh, device, and there's a few of them. You know, you have 
This is a this is an oldie but a goodie. This is an Oxygen 8. This is a MIDI keyboard. And yeah, it just connects via USB. And you can play your keys and everything that you're doing in your DAW, in your whatever, will work. And uh, this is a good way to kind of get into like hardware and uh, learn things. And there's like knobs and stuff like that that you can assign to basically anything in that these actually don't output any sound, but they kind of control things in, in an expressive way. And the benefit is like these keys are velocity sensitive, so you can get some neat expression, pitch bend, all sorts of stuff. And these, these can also be uh, drum pads. You can uh, map these to your drums. So there's that. And that's another thing, yeah. And there's, you know, other things, uh, you know, like a Kai uh, keyboard. That's a kind of an old one, a bad example. But yeah, there's a bunch you can just find uh, in your local music store. And you can, you know, have something in front of you that you can, you know, be musical with and get creative. Once you know the bare bones and the basics of just the uh, your DAW, uh, you can, you know... Have something in front of you that you can be expressive with. Um, from there, uh, maybe you want to get a an interface, an audio interface. Now, audio interfaces. I actually misplaced my audio interfaces behind me. One sec. This is an audio interface, and this connects to your computer via USB, uh, Firewire, uh, Thunderbolt, um, USB-C, and stuff, all sorts of stuff. And what this is, is a way for your uh, the digital audio workstation to record inputs, multiple inputs, and have multiple outputs, and output MIDI, in and out, right? So MIDI in and MIDI out. It's an interface. It's like a way for your DAW to connect with the outside world. And this is a, yeah, uh, an M box. And uh, yeah, it has two microphone inputs. Your basic computer, you know, does have a sound card in it, but it's kind of, you know, just, it's kind of basic. You can't power like a microphone through it and there's no kind of gain. And the quality is not that good. These have, you know, pretty decent quality. And this is what uh, a typical entry-level one will look like. It's just two ins and, uh, yeah, two ins and uh, two outs. So stereo out and then uh, microphone in, two microphone ins or uh, stereo ins. And that's that. And, like, you can, do, you can just do a lot with these things. They're pretty cool. Once you get up to, like, my level, get on my level. No, I'm joking. Uh, you can get like racks of stuff like that thing I just showed you, maybe like less than 200 bucks. Um, but you can, you know, go upwards and get like, I have a pro 40, which has like eight channels in eight channels out. And then I have it expanded with preamp. So it's like 16 channels in and, uh, yeah, you can do a lot of recording that way. Uh, but starting out, yeah, just get like a little one that you can just take with you. And uh, yeah, interfaces, you can't really go wrong with interfaces. Get a modern one. They're all pretty, pretty good. Um, and yeah, you can hook up cool things like microphones, which we'll get into. Um, once you get to that, you're going to want to get a, a, a pair of monitors. Not your computer monitors, but like audio monitors. Uh, you're going to want to get away from headphones and do mixes on like actual speakers. And the reason why is, you know, headphones kind of aren't that accurate. They can be, I guess, but there's a lot of fuckery in that. Um, you know, just because of the fact that sound is shooting into your ears, for one, I don't know if it can be that accurate. Uh, and, it, you know, you don't get like a, a wide stereo image uh, that you get with speakers. And uh, speakers can be affordable and pretty good and... They have a, a nice response, but yeah, you're going to want those, and those require uh, like uh, balanced output, right? Which 
the interface that I just showed you have, and you know that goes out to that. It eliminates like static and hum and all that fun stuff. You know, there's a, there's a couple of good brands. Uh, you know, KRK. I'm using Atoms. Um, yeah, look, really good monitors are are uh, affordable, and it's kind of like next level situations. And you can do like better mixes. You can hear the music better. And uh, yeah, it gets my stands for them. And uh, there you go. I remember when I got monitors for the first time, like my whole world changed because I was using like like a stereo kind of thing with like RCA inputs, you know. Anyway, so there's that. And then that is like a fully fledged studio. And once you're there, assuming you're like a vocalist and you have two uh, inputs, you can get something on eBay or whatever. This is called an SM58. And this is a vocal microphone. And uh, yeah, that just plugs in through there and you can record your voice with it. And you can add effects and stuff like that. And you can, re and you can record that through your interface into Ableton. And uh, yeah, and if you want to record something else, you can get an instrument mic. This is an SM57. The other one was a 58. This is a 57. And this can record like drums and guitar and all that and it's a good entry level like you can throw this out of a building and it'll like still work like they're rock solid and they've been used since forever basically and uh yeah and there's that and that is basically what you need to make music um through all uh, uh styles and uh, uh aspirations like if you just want to be a a strict uh, EDM producer, really? You don't need to go the microphone, the microphone route. But if you're a rapper or a singer songwriter or like a vocalist, or you want to, you know, sing and have your voice recorded, yeah, you just get one of those interfaces and you get a microphone and you're good to go. Uh, and that's basically all you need. And then there's also after that, after that stage, everything else is completely dependent on your taste and what you want to do like for me for example i have synthesizers you don't need a synth like a hardware synthesizer um, i have them kind of all around me i have you know some hardware compressors and stuff like that uh, and they're just kind of there but i don't need them on a day-to-day -day basis but they're there also what else uh you know, you can discover that you're a hardcore Eurorack analog guy. I'm not, but some people are, and they can kind of go down that route freely. But you have to have the basic stuff that I mentioned in the beginning first in order to, like, record and do things like that. So, for example, right, if you have, like, a, like a, a Eurorack situation, you're going to want to send notes from your computer to your Eurorack module and you just you can't really do that really because like the the Eurorack stuff you need um, uh, like voltage controlled cables but what you can do is you can have your MIDI output to uh, Eurorack that converts MIDI to CB and then Bob's your close relative you can you know expand through this brain and like everything actually works pretty well and yeah that's basically that's basically it you know i'm forgetting something yeah there's like the whole route of uh uh you know getting more channels getting like a higher end interface uh treating your room and things like that uh and that's not something that you should worry about if you're asking this question what equipment do i need to make music but basically that's it anyway i hope i've rambled enough and I hope you enjoyed the video, I guess. Um, any questions, let me know. Check the links in the description and things of that nature. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and have a good one.